What's up everybody? <laughs> Karibuni sana kwa Manapata Chronicles episode of the next one. I am Daddy Mato aka Patao. Kokuluanga Matao. And uh, yes, at least we've managed to get baby to sleep. Yes. We are of course. As always, you remember this Manapata Chronicles you record them <laughs> late into the night. Masa yenye sasa ameamka. Ana feel ni kama ako alive. Would you say yes. that in this season? <laughs> Right well, now, when it, we are both sleep deprived from a newborn and doing life, <laughs> contrary to what to what you believe or mm-hmm. what you think is happening, mm. this postpartum period is actually not that hard for me. Like even mentally, I am powering through a lot. Like be- previously, in get any break mm. and what not. But probably I'm also tearing on on a, like please don't be franky, please don't be franky. First thing I'd attribute to. Let me call it the semi smoothness of this season is the fact that it was just the other day that we had another baby the muscle the muscle is fresh yeah like it's from it's, building that it's not unlike markers you know with markers as I was now on my way Four to years. freedom <laughs> because now the boy is going to school he's like i was free finally yeah. feeling free and then i was reeled back into the the craziness that is childbirth and postpartum i think that's why it was really hard yeah. but right now it's hard but it's not hard yeah this Apparently this is what happens. You, things don't get easier. You just get better yeah, at dealing with them. <laughs> you build the muscle for <laughs> Yeah. It. It's just building the muscle. And then second thing is I think some of the things we went through during Frankie mm. because I remember it was uh, between Frankie and now um Richi that you know we even did therapy yeah because we were also going through a rough patch in our relationship and after bado tukapata mimba that one is never going to change right here rough patch or not eh yeah, yes <laughs> um uh of course uh we i feel we are more mature the, the, and i think also the therapy helps there is something that, that shifted yes and also the fact that we we okay I admitted to acknowledging the need for therapy kwa sababu najua na rushiaga mawe kila wakati unasema you, you suggested therapy me I said we are okay mm. then it is after we are going to therapy that we realize actually we are, we are not okay trenches. and what I would say um therapy helped us do was say things to each other that ideally if we would say to each other would be taken in a different way other than and what we are, are trying generally hard to communicate. To hear. Yes. There are things that are hard to hear honestly coming from your spouse. Yeah. There are things that are difficult to hear. Mm. But therapy helps you see them from the perspective of this is your person speaking from their heart. This is how they truly feel however awful it sounds to you. Mm. This is their true feelings on the matter and you must honor that feeling to mm. face it and deal with it. Mm. But it still doesn't negate the fact that it was hard. It it still is hard. It still is hard, um, obviously. I think the very first week, I I can't say I really had it easier, but it was somewhat easier because uh, Christine's mom was around. She was, you know, helping yeah, with well, the first week. Then I think at that time I was like, okay, uh, nothing has changed much. My work is still, and then work was getting even more intense, yeah. and it is still getting even more intense still now. Thank you, like God. the slope, the slope. We go to na panda mlima, to na panda mlima. And we are thankful for that. And then it's that. more of I have, I have a team now. We have people around us, people who are relying on yeah. me to work. Yes. <laughs> other than my family, other than my home, I have people who are relying on me. So those are other families yes. that are relying on me to work. So. I mean we have to do you know things you as can't we say, are supposed to say I won't do this nikai nyumbani na mtoto it's not as easy as that so the plan initially was that's why things were intense at, at the beginning of the year was I was planning to take paternity leave eh uh, mtu akanichekelea njugush nakumbuka ukinichekelea njugush alinichekelea akasema bro <laughs> utawezana kweli yeah. hii kazi yetu yeah. utawezana kweli mm. i really wanted to try it out i wanted to see whether it's going to be possible it's but then it's, it's, it's not practical for our situation it's 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 a it's gig economy entrepreneurship it becomes very hard when you are the job for you to separate yourself from the work <laughs> and have the income 
still, still flowing. Because yeah. that's the challenge when the income is not yet flowing. It's not really flowing as it should be. Mm-hmm. And being that kazi yangu imekuwa kuweka mtu miba na baki tu kwa nyumba kila wakati, hatoki ije kwenda kufanya kazi, lazima mimi nifanye kazi ya kwenda kutafuta. Sika tu nyumbani, si nafanya kazi pia. Kile kile kinakuja nyumbani. Najua unafanya kazi, lakini nasema mimi nimekuweka nyumbani more than uh, your capacity to bring in more would have been higher yeah, yes. had you been I, I understand what you're yes, saying yes yes the first week was okay mom was here then the second week actually not the second week the first day after mom, after mom left <laughs> i noticed a big crack i was like wait what is happening see you are smiling you are laughing we were okay na all of a sudden nina katakatwa na macho <laughs> nikiangaliwa zile za kwa nini unakuja una watch tv <laughs> wow <laughs> nataka unataka ku deny si kukukata na macho eh. i said see you are coming and watching tv so you try and sleep so to help me with the baby but die that is what i said but when i come and i see that you you are asleep baby is asleep so there's nothing i can do at that time and i have you know at least one hour where i also want to relax my mind beyond just sleeping and entertain myself it's hard to see things that way when you are running on three hours of sleep <laughs> so the thing with this postpartum period is you know what happened let me explain why there was a crack when i came home from the hospital i started getting postpartum anxiety pole pole because the first thing i told my mom mom how am i going to do this I have three kids. Two of them are under two now. Frank Indio Akoile stage ana throat and trumps zingine. You literally have to hold yourself at a corner and breathe in breathe out. Those endless crying screaming tantrums that are honestly draining. And then I have a newborn. How oh my God. Like I I came home and it dawned on me. It finally dawned on me. Three is a crowd. And that was a lot to take. In. That was a lot to realize. But you see there is a it's like my mom was was my fluffer. She was there just, you know, you, you it's like taking a break of of seeing the reality because ana handle Frankie, na ana is a handle mtoto, ni la la la. When she left, if it's like touching grass. <laughs> Finally touched the grass. And the reality dawned on me. How am I going to do this? Because frankly at your stage, I have a newborn, I am tired, I am trying to heal my body, I'm trying to heal emotionally and mentally. I'm I'm trying to to feed and keep this human alive, keep up with breastfeeding. Like it's a lot. It was a whirlwind and finally it dawned on me, I can't do this alone. But then Martin is like you have to hold on the fort because this other side it's crazy and I'm holding on the fort this side barely making it as it is so you uh, relying on me to come in is not as practical as I would want it to be so trying to make peace with that and not be resentful it's it's it's, it's impossible at some point there I, I was resentful at some point there I was like na <sighs> am um, um, what do they say you are left with a baby in your hand that 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 can say now i have the baby and now it's on me to go through this and dredge through the trenches of postpartum <clears throat> alone because my nanny deals with frankie and marcus it would be absolutely unfair to also throw the burden of her supporting me in the way that I want to be supported postpartum because it's a lot it's crazy they were struggling as it is and my mom was around during that time and so, again as the stage we are in again just to recap is we are doing both parenting us growing as adults adulting We are doing adulting, we are doing parenting. We are also growing parenting and adulting are two different things by yeah. the way. We are adulting, we are parenting, we are building brands and we are growing a business. All these things at are the running time. at the same time and <laughs> it's tough. And you know, I I know sometimes I let out, you know, sneak peeks of, you know, for example, I, I'll do a day, you know, the kind of day I've had so to speak. And 
to you know the men as well who are out there um it does get overwhelming overly overwhelming and not just for the woman but for the man as well cuz this is what i had been experiencing i remember there was a day when um you know even christine's mom was like you know what don't even go sleep in the same room mm. as where the baby and the mom is go sleep in the office mm. you really need to rest, to rest. Mm. and it was one of those days where me bado ningelala tu uko cuz you know there is the burden to to help but then i realize i have not check out time i have no check out time at all it's go 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 it's go, go like when i wake up in the morning i've checked into you know a uh, provider mm. i leave the house go to futa do what i need to do then when i come back home i check I, it's not like i'm checking out and then relaxing no nikinga tv kwa mlango ndio hiyo markers amenirukia ndio hiyo franki amenirukia pia nataka vitu zake i clock into the second job and then nina kiti tu kwa sofa kidogo na ikelewa mtoto chika ndio huyo so i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm just saying it gets overwhelming and then it becomes very hard to complain because to whom am i complaining how am i going to complain and even in itself even if it's not complaining even voicing it how will it be taken without being offensive i saw a reel on on instagram was like and it was a new mom cleaning the bottles i'm totally sure saying but pov you know the 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 trend of writing pov pov my toxic trait is to think my tired is more than my husband's <laughs> and i could it relate more when really we are both tired the bottom line is we are both tired it's just that our tireds are different we are both going through a really hard time our hearts are different because martin will never understand no matter how many times i will try to explain but how many times we will go to therapy together he will never really understand the weightiness of postpartum onto a new mom and i just realized that because i'm going through therapy right now with my therapist trying to go through this postpartum period she she was explaining it's like <laughs> It's like talking to a Greek person. <laughs> Martin will never understand what it is like to birth a baby and go through postpartum and it is completely unfair to expect that of him to understand you on that level. It is okay to expect support, but it is absolutely unfair to expect him to really get it where I'm coming from. So and I told I explained to her we are both going through because he was like we have the pillars that are holding our foundation yeah he's holding down the fort on your side the biashara and being providing for the home and what not all alone and then I I should be able to hold this pillar of going through postpartum and taking care of the newborn on my own because right now he cannot be able to come in and that was really hard to hear and come to terms with because in my head I'm like at the end of the day you come and sleep oh <laughs> you come and sleep at least you're out there talking to grown ups you are you are out there you can be able to take a nap somewhere in, in the in the middle of the day like you can be able to go through day to day life as a normal that how old are you that what year old <laughs> for me my world is completely upside down i will never know what it's like up to date i have my body has adjusted to going on 4 hours of uninterrupted sleep when i'm lucky But then so this is this so is uh, the, no listen I'm not and this was my rebuttal to her I was like but at least he comes home and he rests at least he's he's like he's the wheels of his life are, are running he's able to be out there and do his and do life in his own way and be an adult talk to other adults there is no newborn crying to him there and trying to latch on painful nipples and what and she was like how can you expect him to experience that when he is not the one who went through birth you know so i have made peace <laughs> with the fact that martin is not able right now to show up for me in the capacity that i want him to show up emphasis emphasis mm. the way you want me mm. because that was another you know um 
point of deviation, point of disagreement, because there is support and is, there is the kind of support that she's asking for. Yeah, I want you to wake up in the middle of the night with me and hold this baby and lull this baby to sleep with me. So in the process of <laughs> offering support, as we speak about there are, there are pillars I'm holding, there, there is a pillar you're holding. So as I talk a about... I'm also holding pillars. Okay, pillars, yes. <laughs> keeping score. I know that is the other thing that we talk about. Keeping score. Well, it's toxic. So the... The pillars that I'm holding, mm. in my mind, and I, I, we, we even tried to talk about this, you know, even before the baby came. I was like, <laughs> I need to offer support in a way that I'll still be competent. To run the show. Yes. <laughs> you see, like, and mm. if in me offering support, I'm not able to be competent, then I am failing in the pillar mm. that I'm solely responsible for that you cannot come into and take over and take over or even right help now. as at right now. Mm. Emphasis as at right now. It's mm. just this season. Mm. So in my head, I'm like, what do you need? You need somebody to be holding the baby? Mm. Aya, mom is here now. In case mom leaves, do you want me to get a, a second nanny? And she's like, no. I think I can manage Our it. space doesn't allow for a second nanny Exactly. Right now, yeah, exactly. Really. No, no, true, true. Yeah. Uh, we tried getting a day bug uh, to character develop. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's very hard to build relationship with somebody else mm. new right now. You already have the, the baby to start, you know, yes. and things like that. Um, but I was saying, I have capacity to this point, and then you, you want me to come in at this point, mm. if I try and reach like the last two or three days, mm. I have tried. Mm. But you keep me woman. I have tried. <laughs> but you know what has happened? <laughs> Today I was supposed to have three shoots. <laughs> no, I was supposed to have four shoots. Yeah. I've only done two. Yeah. Two, I have to figure out how I'm going to recover them. Mm. Tomorrow I have an early morning. It's okay, my like, dear. Oh, like, you know, it's, like... it's, just, it's just that the support is there. It'll, it'll never feel enough for you, it's, especially if we are, if you are expecting that support from the point of, I went through this and I need help because I went through this. No, I, I'm, I'm coming from a point of, I, I, I'm very familiar with what it means like to have full total support from Martin during Marcus's time. So always yes, like true. the bar is up there. So every time I fall back, I'm like, what's different what this time? Yeah. Like why am I left alone with a baby in my hand? With you know, but again, we are not the same people we were seven years ago. I, I and I don't even know why I was that person at that time, because I'm wondering you also going how did set. I think? How did I think I was going to build my family mm. at that point? Yeah. You know, I realized that. There's that season after Marcus was born and we went through that gap of after, you know, uh, Suna Juni ended. Mm. I was like, I am to blame for what we went through during that period. Nobody blamed you. I know, I know. But I'm to blame for what we went through that period because I didn't... You see, like, what I am doing, I'm doing right now, yeah. I have to... I mean, think, I'm the vision bearer. Mm. I am the, I'm the mission pusher. Mm. I have to think ahead... Plan ahead, mm. look at Ukombele. Yeah. Yeah. Who was supposed to adult for me? <laughs> <laughs> we were kids. <laughs> we honestly we were kids. Yeah, so. so even when so when Frankie came, Frankie came just after I had get gotten the awakening. To the next level. Yes, yeah. I was just getting, you know, to the next level. Mm. Then it's like, oh, do you want to But I was still in that, I was still in that rhythm, mm. so I couldn't stop. Mm. But I was still able, you know, because I hadn't yet established much. Yeah. But I was still able to be there for Frankie. Mm. I mean, with Frankie, mm. um, that's how my hair was <laughs> almost separated from my scalp. Oh, so wow. I am glad this time my hair was not separated <laughs> from my scalp. Siku umwa, siku fanyo chuchote. Did all the work. With Marcus nili umwa, with Frankie nili. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's baby core. Nilikimbizwa. What can you say? Nilikimbizwa. Yeah. So it's 
I'm not coming from Ati. Mimi ndio nime go through all, all this and you are supposed now to come in. I'm coming from a point where I, it's familiar to have the, that great support from you and I'm grieving not being able to have that from you anymore. It's not that you don't support. It's not that you don't, you're not able to hold it. But I, 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 I can't rely on you. I can't. Like I have, I have made peace with Usiku na Muchana ni Christina. But luckily for me, we've been able to come up with a system with my nanny during the day. She can be able to hold the baby especially with what you did for us recently like a lot of her time has been freed like by today by 10 she was done and she was able to hold the baby now you see with that thing mm. you're saying i did recently mm. that's one of the ways mm. i'm of offering su support. support yes and mm. that for me to offer that kind of support you have to be able to run around exactly i'm, I'm, I'm growing up <laughs> Take me slowly. <laughs> wow. Not true. As I am as well. Because in as much as my physical presence, mm. in as much as it gives you so much comfort. Comfort and I know. And so much peace. I, I know. It it can't be the only thing. thing. Yeah. I because I now as the man of the home, as the provider, I'll be failing myself mm. just to come to Kai. Ni come to to Kai, mm. you know, mm. and uh, it's this life, eh, no balance. <laughs> it's a stage, imagine. I, yeah. Life is faces because there's a time we look out, we look out, we look out, we look out. Now and it feels okay. Yes, that ship sailed. That season passed. Now mm. we are in the next season of Martin is to run around and figure ish out for his family. Mm. Christy needs to hold down the fort at home. That is the reality of our of our life right now. And that is the practicality of <laughs> ideal relationships, <laughs> because I by myself and all the things that I have around me, there's only so much I can handle. <laughs> but if I know there is somebody else handling something mm. on the other side. You know, at least tunasema, okay, I can be out there, mm. I know my home is okay. It's covered. Yeah, mm. you, you, say, you can say, I am in here, mm. I know out there, in case we need anything to mm. come in, you know, there's something, there's somebody, you know, it's who's handling that. It's a symbiotic relationship, yeah. kind of. So, I mean, it's very early on in the postpartum journey, but these are very major lessons that are helping us Go in the process, it, eh? in the process. And that's why we found it prudent to share. We found it important mm. to share. And uh, we just hope and pray that we survive this period again. <laughs> we shall. You know, we survive it. Because really, really babies disrupt relationships. Yeah. So. Yeah, we just hope to get to the end of it and then uh, know what the next stage yeah. is going to be. Because that's life. But as at now, I know for sure um, there is no plan mm. to have kids as at now. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. But see, uh, In as much as we are taking, we are taking control mm. of some of the situation that because we can take control. Because over. there is still love here, and yeah. with that, there is the danger of. Martin and Christine's story was written in the stars. <laughs> this, this, this is something that is above us, but we hope that we are able to at least for now concentrate on our little family that we have formed and grow it. Little? I don't know why people are making it seem like we have had 12 children. <laughs> it's just three. It's a family of five now. And? It's a family of five. And? What is your greatest fear about that? No, I don't have any fear. It's a family of five. And? It's a family of five. And? No, and. So, it's a family of five. So what is so bad? What is so... Because really that and, is... Honestly... And, and, okay, in all honesty, we are, it's a family of five and I need us to thrive. Obviously, not yes. Not survive. Obviously, I hear you. Yeah. And... But it's really disappointing when the resounding feedback, even from yeah. our friends and loved ones, is where three kids in high this economy, economy? <laughs> and I'm there like, okay, <laughs> the babies are here. Are we going to swallow them? No, we cannot. No, we cannot. I and think the thing is, of course, if the child comes. You definitely know you have to do more. You have to do extra. Don't send us. What my request is don't send us fear. Just s s send us support, send us good, good vibes, yeah. good wishes, good nini. Because mm. I am, I'm having to counter all this weird energy that we are getting with positive energy and counter yeah. it with prayers. Hey, like in, God knows. Because I'm going to discover to go pregnant. Season, but I was like, hey, 
don't even say congratulations. Yeah. Just tell me all the best. <laughs> <laughs> but really, why? Just Mikuzito. think about it. Why? Mm. Why really? Why? Why is it such a bad thing that we have three children mm. in 2023? We just pray for a good, long, healthy life and empowerment. Because when we are healthy, when we are alive, and we are when we are empowered, there is nothing we can't do for these boys. Is there is true. nothing we can't be their custodians within our power with yeah. God's help. So just pray for us. Just send us those vibes. Long, healthy lives, empower empowerment. Because for as long as That's we have it. health and strength, <laughs> yes, we can always play around with the economy. And we are because with, they, mm. you know, people who feel they they are well off economically, things also happen. Yes, what is the assurance that changed. when now where yeah. you are with your millions that tomorrow you will have them? Like I mean, this what is, is really assured? Yeah. So send us good vibes. Send us congratulatory messages. Send us encouragement. In fact, I saw somebody was telling you, "Cause me, I have four boys," <laughs> and I was like, hmm, "This should be encouragement." For you to get another boy no like oh. like don't be so down on yourself oh my god i have i have three kids i have three boys thank you very much what for watching this it? episode <laughs> of manapatao chronicles <laughs> and we hope to be back and back consistently with this yes make sure you subscribe like share follow comment, share comment up with your chin tell us what you think oh yes mm. well to chape life too yeah to chape life we shall do this till the next one Sim Kaipoa. Bye.